Welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new welcome hi um, so today I am back I feel like I haven't been on camera for the longest time with having my holiday and then that was it just felt like ages ago and um, so I haven't actually sat in front of the camera and done like a shopping haul or anything like that for such a long long time so I'm really excited to be doing it today I've decided that I'm going to do my garden up um, it's probably something I should have done at the beginning of the summer but I just didn't have the energy to do it back then but I have now and I've decided I'm changing it all from browns and yellows like I did last year to if you haven't seen last year's video I could link that below as well um, and I'm doing it now I'm doing it greys, black, white, silver and still got a bit of yellow in obviously because I haven't renewed everything although I have sprayed like a lot of my pots I've recycled them rather than buy new ones but I have bought quite a few new little bits as well to go in the garden so I'm really excited to show you some of them are already out there and actually you'll probably see some of those in Sunday's video when I do my garden reveal because I've spent like a week painting it um, I've used it's taken 35 litres of paint to do my decking because I had to give it two coats it's taken 10 litres to do with the fences although I still haven't finished one of them and I've done my sheds as well so I have been doing a lot of paint I've been a right busy bee um, but yeah anyway I'm gonna get on with the haul because we're actually a minute and a half in and I haven't even shown you anything anyway so I picked up a few things yellow before I decided that I was going to go along the grey theme so I just picked up a little ceramic plaque which says hello sunshine and so most of the stuff was reduced I don't know if I've already told you that um but a lot of the stuff B&M Bargains has got the most incredible sale on at the moment nearly everything I got was reduced I didn't pay full price for did I pay full price for anything I think one of the things and everything else was reduced so got that for two pound I also picked up a little bird feeder as well when I thought I was still going along the yellow theme and that was reduced to two pound so I'm just going to hang that from the tree or something it's been outside you can see watermarks on it and um, so that was reduced to two pound and I also picked up this little lemon plant well it's not real obviously um, and that was reduced from £7 to £4. It's just got three little lemons on. And if you've followed my channel for a while, you'll know I'm absolutely rubbish with plants. So, um, yeah, fake it. Fake it all the way. Um, I also picked up four of these white plastic high gloss pots. Um, those were reduced to a pound each. And I also bought two of the large ones, which are about this tall and they were £1.50 but I've got them in the garden with plants in so I'll show you those on Sunday when I do my little garden reveal so I just thought I would pop that in there and I'm going to put it on the table I've done the most incredible makeover on the garden as well well I think it's incredible so I had a dining table like a big garden dining table which really was fit for the tip um, it wasn't good at all, it looked awful and I've totally transformed it for like £6 so I'm going to be showing you that in my garden reveal video on Sunday um, that little makeover that I've done but I love it, I absolutely love it um, I also got this other fake plant which is like a palm and this was reduced from £15 down to £7 it's in a weighted pot um, but I thought these little bits that are sort of like, yeah, brown, make it look quite real. And I'm going to put it in a pot in the garden as well. And I think it does make it look quite realistic having those little bits on it. It's got some in the pot there as well. Um, but I thought, yeah, it was a bit of a bargain for £7. So I picked up that. I also picked up. Oh, I picked up some nails as well. The Young Garden. They're like an ombre. I just thought they were really pretty. They were from the W7 range. And they were £2.49. And they just go from like a light blue to a pink. I thought they were nice. I've got no nails on. And that's a rarity. I've always got a set of nails on. So I'm going to be popping those on later. Um, I picked up 
some of these spinners for the garden. I picked up three of these in total. Two I've already got out there. And when the light catches these, when you open them all out so that they spin, um, they're just so pretty when the, when the sun catches them. So the other two I got have got butterflies in the centre. This one's got like a bumblebee. Um, but they are very effective and they were reduced from £6 to £3. So I bought three of those in total. This is the sort of black and white element that I'm putting into the garden as well. So I bought this parasol, which was £12. And I just thought, because the one I've got out there is black, but it's like weathered. I leave it out all year round. And it just, when you open it out, you, you've got like black parts, grey parts, and it just, it looks a bit minging. And I just thought it would look nice and fresh having the new white, white and black parasol. From the same range, I also bought some bunting. And I bought three of these. This is the thing that I don't think was reduced. Um, did I tell you the parasol was £12? Well, it was. Um, so I bought three of these. And you get 12 flags on each strip of bunting. And I thought I would put those over the sheds. And maybe along the bottom of the garden. Or something like that. And I just think sometimes like bunting hanging around the garden. It kind of softens the effect, doesn't it? And makes it look quite nice I like I, I love a bit of button I do um I went to the market as well because my furniture in the garden the covers is are also weathered and I had black covers on the sofas and then um, on the cushions and they just they've gone like grey and just oh look awful so I went to the market and asked if they had any waterproof material and they didn't have but they did have this which has got like a rubber coating on it I don't know if you can kind of see so I bought a ten no I bought five meters of this. It was only two pound a meter, so it was only ten pound for five meters. And I thought that's probably enough fabric to do the two seater, the three seater, and the two like armchairs, um, for a tenner. So you can't grumble at that, can you? How water resistant it is, I don't know, but it does feel like it's got a rubber. It's not obviously on the back. It's not water. It's like a hessian on the back. But on the front, it's like got a rubberized, and I thought it might be quite water resistant. So I bought 10 meters of that. I, before I go over, no, I'll, I'll stick with BM bargains. I also bought a security light, and this was originally £12. And it was reduced to eight pounds, and I just thought for the like to go outside the back door when peaches. I've got some some lights out there, some solar lights, but when peaches goes out of the night time and it's dark, I like to see where she's mooching around. So we'll see how bright it is. Oh, right. So that's quite bright. Where's the solar thing? Oh, it's come on. And it's like I'm attached to the solar thing. So that's quite a large size solar pack. Um, so I would imagine, I'll turn that off because that's going to just like get in the eyes. So it's got, how many bulbs has it got in it? Eight, nine, ten bulbs. But it was quite bright, wasn't it? And I'm sure it'll stay charged for a long time because of the size of that solar pack. And that was only eight pounds. So a bit of a bargain. And I can see where my little pooch is when she's in the garden. Oh, and Peaches the other day, when I was painting the garden, she only jumped over the little fence straight into the roller tree with the grey paint in it. So I had to bring her in, wash her feet. She ended up with her, both ears were grey. She's been the groomers today, so she's nice and fresh. She's got a little bit of grey left in her hair. But, um, yeah, a little bugger. I also, I've bought an egg chair for the garden with a grey cover to match the rest of... A similar colour to that grey, actually. Um... And I just thought it was just crying out for a garland around the perimeter of it. So I picked up this one, which is five metres of ivy. And it's also got solar lights in it as well. And this was originally £16 and it was reduced to £12. So actually there's a lot of garland on there, a lot of ivy. So we'll turn it on and see if we can see the lights. All right, I'll cover that. Can you guys see that? I can. It's not very bright, but it's enough. Turn that off now. I need to put them out so they can charge up. So, yeah, so that was reduced to £12. So I'm just going to sort of weave it in and out of the egg chair. And I'm sure that'll look very nice. 
as long as it doesn't fade too much in the sun. I also picked up some of these cushions, which are from the same, a similar range to the, um, the bunting and the parasol. So they've got the like brown leather, fake leather straps on the top. These were originally £20 and they were reduced to £12. And they're more like a floor cushion. So the waterproof as well, so you can leave them out like not all year round because that's how all of my other stuff's faded um but you can leave that out so they're all shower proof um, and i got two of those so i'm just going to pop those on the deck and on top of like the rug out there i'm actually forgetting what i've shown you now um i also bought some of these i bought two of these from home bargains and these are for you know when you're eating outside and i'm paranoid about flies i am um, I hate leaving like food unattended outside um, so I bought some net covers and those were £1.69 two of those but then I went to One Below and I bought some other stuff from One Below which is in the shed you'll see that on Sunday when, if you see my garden make over um, and I bought these two pop up food covers as well and those were only, I don't know if they were pound, one pound or one pound fifty, but either way they were cheap and yeah, it protects any food. Um, so I got those. Also, before I move on to Aldi, I picked up this from b and Bargains. Honestly guys, it's really worth going because I've got a fab sale on. I love my white bedding, and, but at the minute I'm just thinking, I feel like it's too hot for a duvet, but it's too cold for a sheet. So I wanted an in betweeny, and I've seen this, and it's like a bedspread, and it's a white waffle, and um, with a little frill around the the bottom, and it was reduced from thirty pound to twenty pound, but it's actually got the duvet. It's quilted, but not thick quilted, so it's like a bedspread, um. So it's quite thin, and you could put the whole thing in the washer. You can't actually take it out of the cover, um. And I just thought this would be absolutely perfect to keep us nice and cool. But, you know, I feel like, plus when you've got a sheet on you, you feel like you've got nothing on top of you. So I just feel like a bit naked sort of thing. So I like a little bit of weight. Um, and I just thought this is nice and thin and it would be perfect. And that's from the Luna Waffle Bedspread range. But yeah, 20, 20 quid. So I'll be popping that on the bed tonight. And what else have I got? I've shown you everything I think I pretty much have um, the last thing I've got was this water feature because I do love the sound of water when I'm sitting in the garden and I got this from Aldi and it was I don't know if it was was it 59 or 69 I'm thinking it was 59 I don't know if I would have paid 69 and it's a water feature and it's a solar powered one it's grey to match my decking and it's got the jug on the top and then the water just trickles down and fills into the bottom and then gets sucked back up and goes around again. So I'm down to plug that in. Anyway, guys, that is the end of my haul. I did have quite a few bits and pieces and I'm actually still doubting whether I've shown you everything I've got here. Um, but if I haven't, you will see them on my next video when I show you my garden makeover. Um... So yeah guys, so I hope you're having a lovely day. I hope you have a lovely rest of the week. And hopefully guys, I'll see you all on Sunday. I watch you as you drive. Do you know?